uh, for a correct understanding, the solution is a solution of 10 grams of honey plus 50 milliliters of demineralized water. Not 10 grams of honey filled up to 50 milliliters, no, separate. 10 grams plus 50 milliliters. And you put those together and stir it up. We have done it in this glass jar. Now I told you we use this solution also for the EC and uh, acidity, the pH measurement. In, there is an international rule that has the Codex Alimentarius standard. It's a rule for the whole world. And that says that honey has a pH between the 3.24 and 6.1. If the honey has a higher amount than 6.1 or a lower amount than 3.2, then there is something wrong with the honey. According to international law, you may not call it anymore honey. It's sugar water. So, knowing the pH is for that reason uh, important. And before we are measuring the pH and later on the electric conductivity, I have to say something very important. All the equipment here, all the equipment used should be calibrated regularly. This instrument, when we are doing later on the optical rotation, has to be calibrated every time you are using it. This instrument, a combined PHEC instrument, has to be calibrated at least every three months. For, for instance, the pH there are solutions, this is such a kind of solution, a, a standard pH with 7 and a standard pH with 2.4. And if you use these standards, you can calibrate the pH, measure, uh, the pH device in this instrument. The same with the electric conductivity. So it's a very important remark. Always take care of calibrating the equipment. Otherwise, you can't trust the result. As I said, we are using this one uh, for the pH and it's easy this one, you put them on, this is just on off mode and in this button you push once then you see uh, pH uh, re mark, then you know you can measure the pH and if you push, uh, push another one then you see the micro Siemens remark, that means you have the electric conductivity. There is an electrode on this side, that's the electrode for the pH measurement, and there are electrodes on this side, and these are for the electric conductivity. So what we do now is we put this in the solution, the solution we made for the glucose oxidase, that's the 10 gram plus the 50 milliliters water, and we put it in there, and we twist a little bit, stir a little bit, and, and you see there is a, a, a time clock on the uh, display and the moment the time clock is switched off you, can, uh, you have the right measurement. Time clock is still going on, 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 takes some time. Still measuring, it's very hot today, so he has, needs some time, and it's off, and that's a pH of 4.6, and that means it's a real, it's a normal honey, because 4.6 is a nice in the middle of 3.2 and 6.1, so there's nothing wrong with the pH. This is the measurement, 4.66, okay? Yes. Good. This is now for the electric conductivity. We are measuring now the electric conductivity, and you'll see it's an other measurement. It's 704. It's still measuring now, and it's now off. Yes, that's 699.
Yes? Mm -hmm. Always clean him after you're using so because there is a lot of sugars from the solution now around the electrodes and you should clean them immediately. So you take the demineralized water, not tap water, and you clean them thoroughly. Good. One thing to tell about the electric conductivity, there are international rules about the amount of electric conductivity in a honey. For instance, honeydew honey and eucalyptus honey, you may call them only honeydew honey or eucalyptus honey when the electric conductivity is higher than 800, 800 micro siemens. So, there are sorry for everybody, but these are the rules in Europe and in the United States and in Australia and in Canada. But there are other countries like Brazil, they have other rules. So, if you are exporting honey to a country somewhere in the world, pay attention, try to find out what the rules for that specific country are. There are differences. There are some international, there are for all the countries, but this one, for instance, the micro-Siemens, the electric connectivity, is different in several countries.